guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Crazy Crate. Now this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to have loads of different crate types where your players can win different items. So before we get into this I've made another tutorial video for Server Miner. Uh, so go check that out, it will be at the top of the description and then you will get double the plugin videos from me. So this plugin now has 10 different crate types and there is so much you can configure in the uh, YML files. So what we're going to do is do a little showcase in-game and then show you how to configure it in the uh, files. So first of all, let's go ahead and look at a few different types of crates. There is the basic one. This one's pretty straightforward, so grab the key, right click, and it will just spin along, it will slow down, and it will give us uh, an item. So you can see each item has a different percentage chance of getting it. So uh, what did we get? A cheap helmet, nothing too good. Let's look at the galactic type now. Uh, let's grab a key, right click, and then we choose four different crates. And once we have chosen them, it will shuffle them, and then we will choose which ones we get. And we did not get anything good, unfortunately. The crazy crate, this one is a lot of fun. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but then we have the classic crate. Let's grab a classic key to open the crate with. And that's very straightforward. That uh, flips open and gives us some trousers. And then finally, we have the galactic crate, which I made using the firecracker um, type. So if we do four slash cc help, this will show us all of the commands. Now, what we need to do is give ourselves a key. So four slash cc give, and it's going to be a physical key for the firecracker crate type. And uh, the amount's going to be one, the player is myself, but you don't really need to include that bit if you're giving it to yourself. And that will give me the key. Obviously the name needs to be changed, you can do that in the config file, but we are going to right click this and stand back. There is a huge explosion, that looks very cool. And we got some grass unfortunately, so uh, we're not being very lucky today. So let's go ahead and make one of our own. Let's just pop down a crate in the middle of an open area. And what we're going to do is force our CC set and then the crate type. So this is going to be a crazy crate. And then right click and it will not let us in, so we need a key. So let's go over here and grab a key. Um, there we go. And we're going to right click and then we will be teleported on top of the crate. Now this one takes a bit of time. It slowly spawns in four crates with uh, an awesome particle effect. And once they've spawned in, we will be able to right click them and see what we get. So what do we get? A rare chest plate, a crazy sword, one million dollars, wow and another million dollars, now oh, we're a multi-millionaire, cool. Uh, so that is how that works, it's uh, it's really cool, and obviously uh, there are all the chests. That is how you create your own, but there are some other commands which are useful. If we go up to this weird sticky out thing, I don't know what the item's called, and right click it, you can go into crates using a GUI as well, uh, which is really awesome. So you can set this in the config file, whether you want your crates to be in the GUI. So if you do four slash CC, that also opens it, but you can give yourself physical or virtual keys. So CC um, give, and it's going to be a virtual key this time for the maybe basic crate. I think I saw the basic crate in there. So if we go back to this basic crate, and because we have a virtual key, it allows us to open it. So you could give these keys out in maybe drop parties, in donate packages, um, in loot chests you find around the world or whatever your system is maybe in kits maybe in daily rewards and that will allow players to get some really cool items so there's a couple other things we can do um, the way I set this menu is very straightforward look at an item go CC set menu and then this item will be a menu uh, that you can click on but make sure you put a sign so people know they can actually click on it uh, another thing we can do is for slash CC admin and this is a great way to get all the keys so you left click for a physical key, right click for a virtual key. And as you can see, uh, we got loads of virtual keys by right clicking. So let's go back to the help list. And if we do full slash CC list, it will show us all of the different uh, crates we have. And we can do CC, TP, and then a number. So six will teleport us to this one. Um, two will teleport us to the basic one. And that's a great way to find a chest if you've lost it. So go back to the help. Um, location and the other thing we can do is open a crate for a specific player uh, which is interesting so if someone doesn't have a key you can do full search cc open maybe a basic crate for my other account if he was on but obviously he's not on at the moment 
So that is pretty much everything in game. Um, obviously, you can do four slash cc reload if you changed anything, and then you can uh, update uh, whatever crates you have. But we are going to hop into the config files now. There's quite a few of them to change loads of different things. So here we are in the crazy crates folder, and as you can see, there is quite a lot in here. Let's look at the messages quickly. This has everything that the player will see. You can change this if you want to, or change the format codes, but you don't really have to. Then we have the locations. This just saves where all the crates are in your world. Then we have data about each player, so how many keys they have. Don't need to change that as well unless you want to cheat. And the config file. Not too much in here, but we have various things about the inventory size and name and prefix that you can change. Whether you want to accept virtual and physical keys, you can disable one and keep the other. And disabled world. So this is important. You probably don't want uh, these crates in the end, the nether, creative. You probably want them in survival and factions. Uh, so bear that in mind. And whether you want an item to be able to open the GUI. So um, that's how you can do that. And that is pretty much it for this file. Let's go into the crates, which is the main one you want to edit. Now in here we have all of the different crates. You can really easily create your own by copy and pasting a previous one, giving it a new name. This can be called the War Crate. And we're going to go inside this YML file. So uh, let me go ahead and close all of these. I started um, changing this earlier, but we can obviously give it another change. So up here we have the crate type. There are 10 different types which I mentioned. So there's CSGO, Quad, Quick, Roulette, Crate on the Go, Firecracker, Wonder, Wheel, War and Cosmic. So I've gone with War, but we could obviously go with Wonder if we wanted to. Then you can change the crate name, make sure these match up or it might confuse players. And whether you want to give a starting key when a player first joins the server as a nice gesture maybe. So in GUI, this is important. So if your crate is one of these three, Quick, Crate on the Go or Fire, it will not work in a GUI and uh, requires a physical crate. So make sure you set that false if it's one of those. But as it is the Wonder Crate, we can actually set this to true. Here we go, uh, if we can spell it correctly. Then we have how many slots are in the GUI and whether it is broadcast. So this could be quite annoying if uh, you have a lot of people on your server, so bear that in mind. And the item that the crate is in as well, you can change this. Then if we scroll down, we have the war chest, so the name in the GUI, the lore, the name of the physical key and the lore of the physical key. Obviously you can change all of this and the item, but it's uh, pretty unnecessary too. Down here we have the prizes, which is the most important part, I think. So uh, this is how you set it up. You have different tiers. You have basic, uncommon, and then rare. And you can set the, uh, the chance of pay people getting it. So here we go. So prize one is basic grass, which I think we got in the video. And the item is two, which is obviously a piece of grass. And the display amount is one. Here is the law, so you can set this to anything and you can set your chance here, 40%. So you have a four in 10 chance of getting this every time you open it, and whether a firework goes off, whether it's glowing, and down here, whether it's unbreakable or not. And then we have the basic uncommon and rare tiers, which is uh, really cool. Scroll down a bit more. And then we have uh, the items here. So item two, uh, which is obviously grass, the amount is 32, and the name which you can customize which is cool um, which is what the player will get uh, the, here is a broadcast command probably want to get rid of that as it might get annoying and then the message that the player gets then we have another item which is cheap helmet this is very similar you can see the uh, chance is 60 and we have some enchantments as well that you can add on so this is how you do it obviously the strength is one but you can also increase the strength like that or add more enchantments by just copying and pasting to a new line go right to the end and then paste and this could be maybe unbreaking like so and uh, that'd be unbreaking two on this item scroll down even more and we have three which is the rare item and you have a 20 percent chance of getting it and there is a firework when you get it. As you can see, you get $1,000. And then down here, it performs a specific command, eco give player, so uh, using this, 1,000. So you could add even more. You could, you could send people money, you could send people uh, permissions or whatnot. So uh, if you want to do a permission, you could do uh, PEX, um, user, player, and then rank or whatever the command is 
rank admin. And that's pretty much how you edit uh, the chests. Let's go into another one just to see what it's like. Let's go into Galactic maybe. And in here, as you can see, it's got a different crate type, different name. And if we scroll down, we have all of the prizes, which uh, are very similar, but we have some more. We have the million dollar prize. And the chance is still very, very slim, but we have the tier here, which is rare. Then we have the command to give it to the player. And then we have the final item, which is a crazy crate key. And the chance there is 10, and the tiers are rare and uncommon. So that is how you edit everything in here. But that is it for me. I will upload another video very shortly, but make sure you check out Server Miner for my plugin tutorials over there. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.